Logos gives you the ability to record your observations, connect them directly to your text, easily cite your sources, and organize your findings so you can quickly recall them in the future. In this video, you'll learn how to create notes and highlights in Logos, gather clippings from your resources, add citations in a paper, and create a bibliography of your sources. The Notes tool is a powerful way to record your observations and findings. Click Tools and select Notes. Logos collects all the notes and highlights you create and stores them individually or in notebooks, which can be edited and searched. For this study, you can create a notebook for the passage, but you may want to create a notebook for a particular class or topic. The Notes tool allows you to create your own system for collecting notes. You may find it helpful to record each observation or question as an individual note, or you may want to keep a single note for the entire pericope. You can create a note in three different ways. The first way to create a note is to click the New Note button in the Notes tool. This opens a blank note. Enter your text into the Rich Text Editor, which allows you to cut, copy, paste, as well as insert images. If you want this note to be accessible from your Bible, expand the panel menu and select Add Anchor. An anchor is a resource location where you can view your note outside of the Notes tool. When you add an anchor, it is like sticking a post-it note to that page. Enter the reference you want the note anchored to and click Done. Now this note is visible at Luke 4.16 in your Bible and you can view it by hovering over it or click the note to open it. A second way to create a note is from the context menu. Right-click a word or phrase to open the menu. Click Selection if you want to anchor your note to the resource, in this case the ESV. When a note is anchored to a resource like a Bible, the note only displays in that resource. Click Reference if you want to anchor your note to the scripture reference, in this case, Luke 4.18. When you anchor a note to a reference, the note is visible in all your resources containing this reference, including Bibles and commentaries. Under Take a Note, select the notebook you want this note added to and enter your text. Since this verse in Luke quotes Isaiah, you may want to anchor this note to the Old Testament text as well. Now, this note also appears in Isaiah 61.1. If you don't see the note icon, make sure the Notes and Highlights filter is active. The third way to take a note is from the Selection menu. Select a word or phrase and click the Notes icon. Logos opens a new note anchored to the selected text. Using this method anchors the notes to the Bible you're using. To make this note visible in other Bibles, add an anchor to this verse or turn on the visual filter named Corresponding Notes and Highlights. You can learn more about using the notes tool at support.logos.com. Do you want to engage others in your study? You can also create notes which are immediately shared with your Faith Life group using the Community Notes. As Jesus read from Isaiah, he began by saying, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Use this as a prompt to ask your group to pay attention to the work of the Holy Spirit in Luke. Highlight the text you want to add the note to, open the context menu, and select Add Community Note. Select your group from the drop-down menu, title your note, and add text. You can view community notes by activating the Community Notes filter from the Visual Filters menu. We'll cover visual filters in depth in a future video. Highlights are another way to document your research and allow you to mark up a text with a variety of colors and symbols. These highlights are stored in the Notes tool. To add a highlight, select a word or phrase and click Highlight from the Selection menu. You can also apply the last highlighting style you selected by pressing H on your keyboard. The Selection menu stores your most recently used highlights. 
To choose a different highlighting style, click the highlighter icon. You can also open the highlighter palette from the Tools menu. When you store your highlights in a notebook, you can turn them off and on by opening the Visual Filters menu and checking the box next to Notes and Highlights. To learn more about using highlighting, visit support.logos.com. If you want to collect information from your resources without creating notes or marking up your resources, you can use a clippings document. Open the Docs menu and click New and select Clippings. Give your document a unique name. Drag and drop selections to the clippings document. You can also right-click a selection and choose Add to Clippings Document. When you're ready to present your research, Logos makes it easy to cite your sources. Simply copy a selection and paste it into a word processing document. Logos creates an automatic footnote with a full citation. You can edit the citation style from the Program Settings menu. Do you need a full list of your sources? Logos creates a bibliography for you. Open the Docs menu, click New, and select Bibliography. Give your bibliography a unique name and press Enter. You can add resources to your bibliography in several ways. You can drag and drop selections into the bibliography panel and Logos creates a citation for the selection. If you created a clippings document, you can easily add the sources to your bibliography by clicking Add and selecting From a Clippings Document. Selecting a citation reveals a notes field allowing you to annotate your bibliography. To remove a citation, click the red X. If you delete a citation accidentally, undo your action with Ctrl Z or Command Z on a Mac. When you are finished adding sources to your bibliography, click Sort, and Logos arranges your citations in alphabetical order. Select the appropriate citation style by clicking the button and choose the desired style. When your bibliography is complete, you can share it with other Logos users by clicking the Share button. You can make it available to any Logos user in the Public tab, or share it with a group by selecting the Group tab and searching for your Faithlife group. To export your bibliography to another application such as Microsoft Word, click the Panel Menu icon and select Print Export. You can see additional export options in this menu as well. You now have the tools you need to document your research with notes, highlights, or clippings. You have also learned how to cite your research automatically by copying and pasting into another document, and how to create a bibliography of your sources. In the next video, I'll show you how link sets, collections, and layouts make your study more efficient.